Hello everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed with Longclaw and Valerian Steel, where we always deliver. Well, I'm still unable to get an audience with the King and I'm in desperate need of answers to the questions that are haunting me and the vision I had when I picked up my father's axe. I need guidance and clarity so it's up into the mountains I must go. Come with me on the next stage of my epic Viking saga and let's see what answers we can find together. So, having sharpened the blade of my father's axe, I sought out Randy and my audience with King Sturbjorn. I need to speak to him and report, but I'm still confused about my visions. When I picked up my father's axe, I saw a wolf and a man with a grey beard in a doorway. Perhaps Randy is right and I need to understand what these visions mean for me and for my fate. For those kind of answers, she advises me to head up into the northern mountain range to seek out the seer who may be able to help me. I climbed the highest point on the northern mountain and followed the mountain road until I came across the Sia, Valka's hut, where she lives in solace with her mother. When I arrive at Valka's hut, Valka and her mother are both there and I am welcome. The Sia agrees to help me when I explain what happened and what I saw. She tells me that I am blessed and that the man in grey was Odin, the Allfather, and my place in Valhalla is assured. But she tells me though I must drink a potion she's brewing up and whatever I experience when I drink it will help provide me with the answers that I'm looking for. The seer knows all and is a voice in direct communication with the gods. Destiny is everything to a viking and my path is still yet unknown to me so I must do as she says. Although I am wary I agree and I drink from the bowl she provides me and then I must have passed out. When I awake again, I see a vision. I stumble to my feet and head towards the doorway out into the cold. I follow Odin and the wolf who lead me on a path into the mountains. Deeper I trudge into the snow and I come across a glistening lake where the Udr guide me with the music and the lights towards a steep path and a wolf who beckons me onwards towards the light. The path is strangely lit on either side and at the top of the stairs is a doorway. The wolf disappears inside. I must follow for I am kissed by a wolf. Inside, Ziga, my brother, is there. I hear a scream. I call out to him. He stands alone on the edge of a mountain. Ziga, my brother, I call to him. On the floor, his arm, torn from his body, lays covered in blood. Ziga, what have you done? and all too soon he is whisked away by the huge winds and the wolf now towering over me. And there I awake in Valka's hut. I tell the seer all I have seen and slowly she explains to me the meaning. Indeed, my place in Valhalla is destined to me, but first I must betray my brother Zygid. And that is the meaning of what I have seen. This news is not taken easy by me. I know I cannot turn from my destiny but Sigurd is my brother, my blood. And although it's useless to fight it, I leave her council dismayed by the news I've discovered. And there ends my journey for now. Thanks very much for watching this video. Please do subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for all the latest updates on GTA Online and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I upload content every single day and you don't want to miss anything. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there and of course, you know, I'll see you again soon.